order of operation. The order of operation says to do what first? Parentheses or grouping symbols. So in all of these problems, there's parentheses, but these parentheses just mean multiplication. The grouping symbol where you're going to start is the square root. And so on every single one of these problems, you are going to simplify the square root first, and then the rest won't be an issue. All right, so, and you may use a calculator. Would you simplify the thing underneath the square root? Now be careful, because negative 5 squared is not negative 25. What is it? It's right on the front table. There's a packet right on the front table. It's 25, correct? All right, here's what I would like you to write. So we have negative 5 plus the square root, I'm doing the square root first, 25. Now you're not going to do minus 4 next, you're actually going to do 4 times negative 2 times 7, because we have to do multiplication next, agreed? Alright, what, now this is subtract, okay, minus, alright, what is 4 times negative 2 times 7, can you guys tell me that? So we have minus a negative 56. And now here's another way of looking at this. In this whole row of things, do you see that there's two negatives? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add those together. On the bottom, I have 2 times negative 2. Guys, seriously. Because you are going to have questions. And you might do it wrong. So that's why I'm doing this. So knock it off. What's 2 times negative 2? All right, 25 plus 56, what is that? Use your calculator, guys. 81. Now, I'm going to show you something before I continue. If you would do this all just how it looks, watch what happens if I have a graphing calculator or one that lets you use parentheses, if I type this all in, just how I see it, this is a negative 2 and a 7. Notice, you, you see that I get 81. Okay. So I strongly encourage you to do that. What, we know the square root of 81, don't we? What is it? 9. So now I do negative 5 plus 9 divided by negative 4. What am I going to do? Don't type this all in. What do you have to do first? Negative 5 plus 9. What is negative 5 plus 9? 4. 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1. Hey, what do you notice about the one next to it? Ah! It, holy cow. Well, can't I skip over this part and then just go over to here? Yeah. Yes! Okay. Now, this is actually what the quadratic formula does. And so that's why I'm having you do it. It has you find one with addition and subtraction. So I'm going to go that, that, that. I did a bunch of work already. I'm going to skip down to here. Instead of negative 5 plus root 81, it's going to be negative 5 minus root 81 over negative 4, which is negative 5 minus 9 over negative 4. What's negative 5 minus 9? Negative 14. Can somebody tell me what negative 14 divided by negative 4 is? Three point five. Okay. So now I want you to notice some things. Hey, aren't these two the same deal? This is plus, this is minus. Plus, minus. Rut row, the last one isn't. Sorry. But at least with these ones, the simplification you did in the beginning is the same. And also, again, I strongly encourage you, like on this one, I would encourage you to just do this. <laughs> Type it in like you see it. So there's no errors. Minus 4, parentheses 9, 
parentheses, negative 2. And then I get 81 again. Cool. Did you guys see that? Yeah. Alright. Um, now, is it always going to be 81? No. And also, what if you get something like 50? What's this? We don't know the square root of 50, so then you just round it. Okay? So when you are done with your assessment today, I already did one of them, you're going to do these three. Good? And then we'll start with solving quadratics tomorrow. All right.